Well, welcome to the channel viewers, Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, theologist, just back at the studio with the Christmas stuff starting to come up in the background. We go to Proverbs 27, 15. We pray for Israel and viewers in the name of Jesus. Many of you are suffering from all sorts of different horrible things at the moment as I just fix my camera up. Um, we're going to chapter verse 15 a constant dripping on a rainy day and a contentious woman are alike restraining her is like holding back the wind or gasping oil with one's right hand it's a difficult situation i've seen many women go down the tubes pretty quick a lot of options stresses things like this but it's a constant dripping on a rainy day when she goes contentious and i've seen this um, a lot of this stuff they try and categorize into narcissism and all this sort of thing, but a lot of it's got to do with the way these people have been raised, what their values are, how well they can hide their flaws, um, what their motives are, what they're with you for, um, how long they're going to last, what they do when they get what they want, how they respond to that. A lot of women, um, Proverbs... Just let me go to 14, Proverbs 14. I'll come over, come over here. Proverbs, Proverbs 14. Most of you know this scripture. A wise woman builds her house, though I'm in the commentary. Um, just bear with me for a minute as I go back to the scripture itself. Every woman builds, every wise woman builds her house. But a foolish one tears it down with her hands. This is pretty key to what's going on here in the sense that once a woman becomes contentious, she's tearing down what originally she was trying to build. And if you're not aware of this happening, the constant dripping, the covert disintegration going on psychologically inside the mind of this person and men do this too to women, um, it can become subliminal. You, it, it's going on, it's raining, and the consequence of the rain brings out the drips. Because remember the, the saying, you would have heard of it, oh, they're a drip. It comes from this scripture, a constant dripping on a rainy day and a contentious woman are alike. When you're calling somebody a drip, you're calling them contentious or stupid or something of that nature. Um, things become contentious when things aren't resolved. When you know there's things that could be going better, but they're not. Um, this is the foolish woman who pulls down the opportunities that she has to have something in life. And this can happen by way of um, wanting... Uh, to have things that are relevant to building substantial things in life. Their needs and desires are undermining the path that they should go on to succeed. And it's constant. It's a constant. Like they get up in the morning, they'll have that cigarette. They'll have that next cigarette. They'll have that next cigarette. They'll make that choice that they know they shouldn't make. They'll, they'll have the drink they know they shouldn't have. They'll have the, the dope they know they shouldn't have. They, they'll have sex with somebody they're not sure about. This is talking about a woman. It doesn't necessarily have to be a wife. But in a lot of cases it is. They become bored. They don't know how to manage themselves within the confines of an exclusive relationship. Therefore, it's necessary for them to triangulate, and they will. A lot of these people do triangulate. Um, people end up on the other side of this. People end up harmed by this. It's actually, this was one of the great Chinese torches in the war, apparently. Chinese or Japanese used to drip um, water onto the foreheads of the soldiers that they prisoners that they caught to get intel and eventually they crack 
this is sort of torment that a contentious woman can bring on a man. She's not willing to be harmonized. She's covertly coming up with ideas that are solely for herself. And there's no restraining this woman because she can't hold back the wind. Uh, and you can't grasp oil in your hand. It just runs through. Basically, you're wasting your time. So if you can get a bit of an idea of what's going on in this situation, then you can make swift choices. I've given women benefit of the doubt before. I've realized that they're starting to pull down what's supposed to be being built up. You have to have tremendous spiritual insight when it comes to these things. Uh, but this happens all the time, and that's why a lot of people don't end up with anything. Uh, these women, uh, there's a lot of women that ended up ended up with nothing. They just got it wrong, and they couldn't get it right. Not only was trying to hold them back like holding the wind, but yeah, life became like the wind for them. And they began to allow life to slip through their fingers like oil slipping through the hand. See, not only are they consequential to the people that are trying to build things with them, they're consequential to themselves. These people are consequential to themselves. A constant dripping on a steady rain, rainy day, and the contentious woman are alike. An endless dripping on a rainy day and a nagging woman are alike. And this nagging, viewers, you've got to understand this, can be passive-aggressive um, behavior. They're not making right decisions. They're, they're not turning up when they should psychologically. Um, they've turned to drugs as a means of numbing out the stuff that they haven't been able to come to terms with. My Christmas decorations are a bit... doesn't look good, does it? It's just hanging there. They don't... Um, they get become brawling and combative in the co covert passive aggressive forms there's a lot going on in their mind that you're not aware about and that's aggressive that's abusive because you should know um, they've got resentments, bitternesses things going on that are working against the relationship they're not being transparent they're not explaining anything they've got triangulation going on behind your back could be with some other man or several men or children working against you in the background psychologically maiming her she doesn't know how to fix it because she's torn between the two she's split um, these people end up having life slip through their fingers like the wind and they, are, they destroy everything around them that's the point of this scripture. They destroy everything around them. Um, and I guess a foolish son in comparison is his father's ruin. A foolish woman is her man's ruin and a quarrelsome wife are alike. See, so it's... It circles around foolishness. And it says that you're better to live on the corner of a roof than to share a house with a contentious wife. That means then, and let's just say it, you have to leave. If you've come to the conclusion that this person is pulling down the relationship, doesn't seem that way on the surface, but underneath it's absolutely obvious that this person's not going to contribute themselves to the relationship in a way in which is positive for the outcome of everyone then you come back to the passage don't you a constant dripping on a rainy day and a contentious woman are alike restraining her is like holding back the wind or grasping oil with one's hands they are impossible absolutely impossible and the scripture tells us here that it's better to live on the corner of a roof than to share a house with a contentious or quarrelsome woman. Now this quarrelsomeness immediate make, immediately makes you think of a nagging, harping woman. But this stuff can work in the covert, passive-aggressive forms. 
right? They're not being honest about the way they feel. They're not being honest about the resentments and bitternesses they have. They're just letting things build up. The next thing they're triangulating, covertly triangulating, overtly triangulating, and they're squeezing you out. They're pulling down everything that you've done. As water wears away stones and torrents wash away soil, so these people destroy a man's hope. And we know, all of us know, that hope deferred makes the heart sick. These people, these women, destroy the original hope that you've built. You build, you want to build things with hope. I was just listening to a lady and she was talking about all the hope she had with this man. But he kept destroying the hope. Well, hope deferred makes the heart sick. That's all there is to it. And as water wears away stones and torrents wash away soil, so does a careless, foolish woman destroy her man's hope. And when hope is gone, that's it. All else is gone. It's it. It's done. It's it. Done. Done. And many people stay in relationships and things um, to the point where they become tired and run down and worn out and they can't seem to find a way out. That's why the scripture says, and it warns us, it absolutely warns us, a constant, this is what it's here for as we close, a constant dripping on a rainy day and a contentious woman are alike. Restraining her is like holding back the wind or grasping oil with one's hand. It is useless. It is hopeless. And we have to admit that. It's better to dwell in the corner of a housetop than with a contentious and brawling woman. And remember, a lot of this can be passive, aggressive behavior as well. Reverend Dr. J. W. Morris, the theologist here at Gosford on the Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. Thank you for joining me and bye for now.